All right, this week is going to be sort of half-assed. Sorry, because I got Destiny, that game's amazing, and that's all I've been doing. So uh, where we left off is building the uh, connect attributes. And so we get a network like this. So this, uh, this is a custom attribute network from last video. And then what we want to do is we want to generate this. Now this is important because this is the find shortest path and so this allows pretty much piece to piece communication so that they can travel. So I'll just show you the, I'll blast the latest, uh, I'll just uh, blast the latest here to show you what we're trying to accomplish. And so as you can see, you know, these pieces, they build one by one and they travel and the shortest path uh, does that. This is probably one of my favorite additions to Houdini 13. I'm very happy with it. So uh, what's important is you want to select start points and you want to select end points. And as you can see, I have two colors here. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, there's two clusters, there's two start points pretty much, like here and here. And, or I guess they're here and here, wherever they are. So I have those two points, and then what I want to do is I want to take the original points and I want to do a search. And basically, it's a while loop. Let's pull this up. And it filters for the small uh, for the shortest di uh, shortest distance and if uh, a point the way it's working is if it finds out the point isn't the shortest it has to set the last point group there's a better way to do this I figured out that's way more efficient but I don't want to do it so what it does is it finds the shortest point and it sets it in the start group because it's the closest one and then it goes to the next point this is is this a detail yeah over the detail so then what it does is uh, it has it in the start group but what you have to do if it finds another one and says alright this one's shorter this is now the start group you have to set the last one end uh, the last point to an end group because you you don't want it in the end group. So that's what this, this is why it's done this way. So it can loop through all the points and it finds, it can loop through all these points and find the closest point that is all these points and the closest point to that guy. And then that makes, that makes our start group. And then I do a, just a little bit of trimming because there is this is just a little bit of cleaning. Uh, there's like, it's not perfect code. So like I said, I found another way and I'll probably do that again. But video games have taken over my life. So not getting much done this week. Uh, the next thing that is important. Uh, well, the point cost sort of noises up the paths. So that's not really important. And I guess next week I'll go over probably what this is. This basically takes these branches and it moves like the branch to its root. And like that's, that's the way it translates. So like I said, this is probably disappointing, but video games are ruining my life. So... Uh, stay more focused than me and keep on practicing Houdini. I hope you enjoyed watching.